Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, today we're just going to talk about crypto mining. Profits are down. What's going to happen? Who knows? And uh, how to move forward. Uh, right now we're looking at all the CPU rigs, which is part of the diversification of my uh, crypto mining portfolio. Uh, like I said, I got most of the GPUs working on Ethermine right now, getting ETH. Once I get my little bitty payout, I'm going to switch back to two miners and get paid out in Bitcoin. Bitcoin for the long term, guys, because I'm just afraid of all these coins like ETH and that once ETH goes to proof of stake, it, it's going to tank, I think. And uh, other altcoins, too, if I can mine them, I want to get paid in Bitcoin. Because like with Luna, any, any of these Litecoins can just go nowhere, it can go to zero right like that overnight. Uh, I have Litecoin. I'm a little worried about that. I uh, don't know what to do with that. Maybe convert that to Bitcoin, exchange it, take the loss, buy into Bitcoin. I don't know yet. I'm trying to take that one out because that would be a big loss. Uh, yeah, I thought Litecoin was going to be an up-and-comer. It was ranked number three for the longest time on Coinbase and everything. One of the first listings on GDAX, which is Coinbase Pro now. And Coinbase and all the exchanges. Now it's like 14 or 18. It's ridiculous. So I don't know. I'm getting a little nervous on that one. So again, here is the old GPU grow tent. It is hot. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This, this goes into the conversation of GPU management, electricity, efficiency, heat, profitability now with the uh, proof of stake. Merge may be happening in uh, August now, which is the uh, Ethereum devs are talking lately. So that may be coming sooner than later. Uh, may, makes you wonder what's the best route to go. Everyone's now talking ASICs. So you get into an ASIC. Because the cost of building a rig is the same as buying an ASIC. And then you set and forget. And they seem to run a bit more efficient, less power, and are quieter, and maybe less heat. So there's a lot of pluses there. There's a lot of cons. Cons being it's a big output of money right away. And some places only take crypto, which makes me nervous. Because once they get your crypto and you don't get your product, how are you going to dispute the purchase? And they can flip it on the other side. Well, people rip us all on uh, credit cards. Well, whatever, dude. Cost of doing business sometimes. But uh, yeah, I don't like just paying in crypto and having it shipped from overseas, especially from a communist country. <laughs> makes me nervous. But that's just me. Uh, there may be places in the U.S. to buy them, but you're probably paying a premium as well. I don't know what to do on that. That's that's my thought process. Talking about uh, maybe look at an ASIC, but again, then you're dedicated to one algorithm. And I think if I were to do it, I would go script, which is Dogecoin and Litecoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin. Uh, maybe that one. Uh, people are pushing the Kadena, but I don't trust a lot of YouTubers in a way. By, by that, I mean a lot of these guys get the equipment for free to shill it, and that always makes me nervous too. You don't know who these people are. They're in their basement making videos. I'm out on a deck making a video. Do not listen to me. I'm an idiot. I'm just ranting and just saying what I'm doing. I'm like the common man. I'm the blue collar common man miner. I ain't nothing else. I don't claim to be anything else, and I'm still trying to figure this mess out. Uh, I don't know with this Ethereum merge, if it does happen in August, I don't know if I'm going to ROI my rigs. Uh, that's kind of a little little disappointing. But I may, though, the only saving thing I may, if uh, the coins go back up, Bitcoin and Ethereum do shoot up by chance, I hopefully will then dump what I can and get profit and pay off everything and get my ROI. I don't know. That's, that's one of the strategies. Uh, what are we looking at here? These are uh, just showing some screenshots of profitability. It's way down. I'm getting like 28 bucks a day on 1.4 or 5 giga hash. It's ridiculous. It's getting hot and humid here. And the rig, that grow tent, and the house is getting warmer. I got the fans on. It's getting a little, uh, getting a little annoying, to be honest. And uh, I'm just watching it. I tuned down some of the watt usage, low power mode by uh, lowering the overclocks on these hot 3080 Ti's and you'll see on the other screens that I did have some hot VMAM. I'm waiting for thermal paste. I got two more cool my GPU copper plates coming for the uh, 3080 Ti Asus Trix. They make them for that. The Asus Tough Gaming, they don't make them for that. So as you saw in my other videos, I did two of the GPUs and I cut my own shims from copper and it dropped it by 10, 12 degrees. I'm happy with that. It's not 100% perfect. Probably why no one's made a shim for it, a plate, because it's hard to cool these damn Asus Tough Gaming cards. What a waste of money. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to do one more. 
and I got the copper already cut. I'm waiting for thermal paste, and I'll get that with the cool my GPU plates as well. So I'm going to do three GPUs, get all those temps down, baby, and be done with the goddamn um, the damn memory temps, man. I'm so sick of the high memory temps. It makes me nervous. But that's where we're at. We're crypto mining. Markets are hovering about 29 um, and 1900 respectively. So go forth, keep mining. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, share it. And let me know what you guys are up to. I'm out.